Hello everyone, my name is Comfort. Today I'm going to tell you a story titled The Seven Days Story. Tohio Yahya Bo. A long time ago, there was a powerful king who had a daughter called Ewa. The king said to her one day, Ewa, my daughter, every day all these young men keep filing into my palace. Choose the one you like among them and the others will stop coming. I don't know the best among them, Ewa said. Then I will choose for you, my daughter, said the king. I want the best for you. The following day, her father announced that any man who can entertain him with a story that will last for seven days may marry his daughter. Ewa thought it was a good idea. On the appointed day, the merchants came to entertain the king with stories of various journeys abroad, but they could not tell any story that lasted seven days. Likewise, the hunters and the princes came to try and all of them failed. Finally, a poor young man called Wena asked to try. Everyone laughed at him. The king ignored the laughter and urged Wena to begin. Wena began nervously. Your Majesty, in a distant village, the people were renowned farmers. They planted a lot of corn in their fields, but one year locusts came down in their millions and gnawed at the grains, leaves, stalks, and anything edible. Soon there was nothing left. The following year, the farmers got wiser and built a huge granary to protect their harvest from locusts. The locusts came again in their millions. They were hungry and angry. They started flying round and around the granary because they knew the grains were in there. After flying for a long time, one tiny locust discovered a very tiny hole just big enough for it to fit inside. The locust squeezed itself through the hole, found a grain of corn, crept out, spread its wings, and flew away. Then another locust crept in, took a grain, squeezed itself out, spread out its wings, and flew away. Then another locust crept, the king stamped his foot and asked, then what happened after that? Oh, after that, your majesty, replied Wena. Another locust crept in, took a grain, crept out, and flew away. Then another locust, his voice lulled the crowd to sleep. The king woke up suddenly and dismissed everybody. He asked Wena to come the following day. Wena came the second day and continued his story. Two locusts struggled and one entered the hole. It rolled out its corn and flew away. Another, go on, tell us the end, said the king. To tell the end of a beautiful story right in the beginning of it, we spoil it, your majesty, said Wena. The crowd roared in excitement. On the third day, the king did not interrupt Wena at all. On the fourth day, Wena continued as usual. Your majesty, millions of locusts are still milling around the tiny hole because they are hungry and angry. One locust got its way in, took a grain of corn and flew away. Yet another, can't they go away, bellowed the king. No, your majesty, they are hungry and angry. And the tiny hole is the only way another locust entered the hole, took a grain and flew away. How long do you think they will take to empty the granary, asked the king. I don't know the arithmetic, your majesty. All I know is that there are millions of corn sacks, millions of locusts, and their way into the granary is the tiny hole. So they have to take it in turn. Another locust struggled in. Enough, bellowed the king. Wena, you are the cleverest young man that I've ever known. I give you the hand of my beautiful daughter Ewa in marriage. Sound the royal drums and let us celebrate the marriage of my beautiful daughter Ewa to this very clever young man. Mm -hmm.